for free. El Paso did not receive any Johnson & Johnson doses with this week's COVID vaccine allocation, but we still received more shipments than last week, more than 6,000 more to be exact. And ABC 7's Dylan McKim combed through the numbers and discovered that the facility that received the most vaccine doses this week was not one of the two major hubs in El Paso. He's live to explain. Dylan. Yes, Stephanie, each week the Texas Department of State Health Services releases this list. It's a breakdown of what each facility in Texas gets in terms of vaccine allocation. Now on the front highlighted are the two main hub providers here in El Paso, the George Perry site and the County Coliseum. George Perry, they received 10,000 Moderna doses. The Coliseum, just under 6,000 Pfizer doses. But if you want to find out which facility got the most this week, you got to turn to the fourth page until you find this facility right behind me. Inside that building is the regional HQ for the state health department. They got a mixture of Pfizer and Moderna uh, vaccines totaling up to 10,710 doses. Now you might be wondering why aren't there a line of cars behind me of people trying to get their vaccine here? Well, in my reporting today, I learned that this facility does not actually administer the doses. Now I walked into the facility today and I spoke with someone behind the front desk. They told me they only store the vaccines that, they are, that are shipped to them. They will then transfer the vaccines to other providers here when they are needed. The state directs them on when and where to transfer the vaccines. This could be to the George Perry site, the Coliseum, or any other provider here in the borderland. And we reached out to DSHS officials to figure out why the state ships some vaccines to this facility and not just directly to the providers themselves. But after multiple phone calls and emails, we were unable to get an answer before this broadcast. Now, I went through all 19 of these lists that have been made since the vaccine rollout to figure out when this, this facility got shipments. What I learned, they have four shipments before this week and total, the total number of doses in those four shipments, 2,870. So definitely a dramatic increase for this week. And we're still trying to figure out why the state decided to send so many just this week.